Hello and happy Friday, everybody. I am Matt with Beacon Software. And in today's Feature Friday, we're going to take you through the November update. Uh, so this includes some of the new features that we did and some of the bug fixes. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with some of the new features and then we're going to go through some of the bug fixes. Not many in this release and this video should be pretty quick, uh, but there are some uh, excellent features that are going to be uh, super helpful for you. So uh, let's jump in. All right, so I already have Dispatch Anywhere uh, up and running. Let's go ahead and take a look at the release notes first. All right, so the big feature in this release was the customer locator uh, that's back in the system. Uh, we had it in the system before. Um, we brought it back with uh, some updated uh, features with it. So uh, new features, find lost customers by requesting their location from the create new job slash edit job screen. Customers simply tap the link that they're sent uh, via text message, and then it would notify you of their location. Um, number two kind of goes hand in hand with that. Customer location confirmed check mark. Uh, this is going to be a check mark or a green check mark that's going to be on your screen. This way that we know the customer added this address or the, the customer updated this address versus a dispatcher typing it in. Uh, so let's take a look how that works. All right. So we're going to bring back up our dispatch anywhere. So um, I already have a call open or I'll take a call here. Let's take this one here. This is the new feature right here. These two buttons, these uh, kind of target icons. As long as you put the customer's cell phone number in here, when I click this, it tells me the customer will receive a text message with instructions how to send their location, uh, message and data rates may apply. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes or no? So we go ahead and send that to them. I'm going to bring up my phone here. Now this is a uh, text messaging program I already have on my phone here. Let's move it over a little bit. This is the link that they get. Uh, please visit this link to send us your location and they're going to get a web URL. All right. So when they click that, it's going to go on, open up a status page location received. Thank you for sending your location. Services will be on their way soon. So pretty simple. The customer doesn't have to do too much. They basically just click on a link, All right? On your call, then what happens? And I have a call queued up right here. When the customer confirms their address, this is the green location confirmed by customer icon that you're going to see, along with the address that it pulled from their phone. All right. Uh, so a great solution to find your customer, especially if they're maybe broken down on a highway, maybe they're not familiar with the area that they're they're in. Uh, this is a great way to get your your driver either exactly to their location like this, or at least in the general area. Um, and again, they have their number. The driver can always obviously call them, but at least your driver isn't driving all over the place trying to find this customer. Uh, pretty simple solution, but definitely a powerful one that we've added back into the system. Right? All right. Send vehicle damage signature request via text message or email from the DA driver app. Allow customers to review and sign the vehicle damage waiver on their own device without any contact. Uh, so we've already added the tow ticket message where you can text it to the customer. This is adding on top of that where they can uh, send the vehicle damage to the customer. So we'll demonstrate that really quick. Okay, this is an emulation of my phone. I already have the DA driver app installed. Let's go and click on it. Bring it up here. So as your driver is going through, they're obviously going to timestamp it, add photos, etc. All the way over it's kind of hard to oops, let me move this over. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. All the way to the right, the drivers have this uh, three dots or a more icon. They can either do a drop off or a vehicle damage. The update is on the vehicle damage, right? So they go through and mark any existing damage on this vehicle. After they've added at least one damage point like this one has, there's an option for a customer confirmation. When I click that, I can either request a signature or if I wanted to, I can have the customer sign on my own device. Uh, but by requesting a signature, pretty simple. If the number was already on the call, it's going to carry over. Obviously, the driver can change it, uh, whether they want to use an owner or contact number or all three of them. They can select one, two, or three, depending on what they want to do. And then that request will be sent to somebody else. Obviously, your customer, they'll sign on their own device for the damage versus signing on the driver's device. Uh, so a great way, contactless solution, uh, still being able to show the customer damage, uh, on their own device, still getting a signature, 
but not having to be close to the customer uh, or having them touch the driver's device. Uh, so another, again, kind of simple solution, but definitely a powerful one, allowing your drivers to send damage uh, without having the customer uh, up close or touching their own device. We got tow ticket legal message agreement on tow ticket request page. All right, so what this is, this allows you to have a individual tow ticket per account. Previously, you were only able to have one generic or one general message on all your tow tickets. This takes it a step further and allows you to add account specific messages. So your drivers maybe have a special message for, you know, lot A or dealership B, et cetera. This allows your driver to, again, either send it or get a signature on their device uh, for that agreement. So I'll show you how to do that. Right, I'm going to bring up my settings here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. In the settings page under accounts, so each account here, I'll just pick a generic one. Under the invoicing tab here, we have an invoice message, which is a general message for the invoices for this account, but we also have a tow ticket message box. This will allow your driver, uh, again, to get a signature on whatever we put here. Um, again, general tow ticket messages go under your division settings. Account specific ones go under each account uh, under the invoicing tab. So again, pretty simple place to add it, but allows your driver to have specific uh, verbiage that the customer can sign off you know, for that specific account. Utolene.com vehicle details uh, directly from Impound. So this refers to any of our customers that are using our Tolene feature. Let's go into Impound here. Bring one up. So the customers have, that have already linked their Tolene account, and for customers that don't know, Tolene allows you to automatically send out your letters and also do your vehicle registration searches. Um, so if you're interested in that, let us know. Uh, we have a team that handles just the Tolene uh, part of the software. So if you have any questions or you're interested in it, let us know. Uh, the way that this works here though, so this car has already been sent to Tolene and it indicates with a green check mark on that, uh, that vehicle. So this one was a 2019 Civic. If I click this, this will take me directly into Tolene and allow me to see the information for this call. Previously, you'd have to log into Tolene separately, search for that call uh, or car, I should say, uh, manually. This allows you just to direct, uh, directly link to it. So again, kind of a simple feature, but uh, eliminates that searching function if you're using the Tolene website just by clicking an icon. So pretty simple. Uh, option to disable driver uh, automatic timestamps. Uh, so this was a request by customers. Um, normally, uh, by default anyways, driver app will uh, automatically timestamp arrived, dropped, Finish. they're still going to do manually. Um, but this option, some customers don't like the automatic timestamp, so there is a way to shut it off. All right, we're back in our settings page here. If I go to DA for drivers, right up here, automatic job timestamps, I can turn it on or off now. So you have a toggle button. Uh, so pretty simple. So if it's a feature that maybe isn't working for you, um, or it's maybe time saving it too early for the drivers, whatever the case may be, you have an option to shut it off. Uh, this is a global setting for all your accounts, though, uh, for the company, not necessarily each individual division. Uh, so once you shut this off, it shuts it off globally for every single call. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right. And then lastly on here, again, this was going to be a quick video, but some of the bug fixes, some of this stuff referred to the tow ticket um, error messages that some customers were experiencing. Um, and then some of the alignment fixes, some stuff wasn't lined up correctly, so we, we went ahead and fixed that. And then on the vehicle damage report, uh, if you were using that, sometimes the details for the um, images or the photos that were on there weren't always showing up correctly. Uh, so we went ahead and fixed that as well. So uh, if you were experiencing any of these, uh, they should be fixed with the latest update. So. And with that, that's going to go ahead and end this video. It's a pretty quick video today, but a lot of powerful features that we have in this release, uh, either helping you hopefully find your customers or your drivers keeping that distance with, uh, with customers while in the field. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, problems, you can either definitely reach out to myself or, or support team. Uh, if you're interested in any of the tolling information, uh, again, we have a whole team just dedicated to 
uh, tolling and the different laws uh, in different states. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video today. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Any additional videos that you guys may want to see, uh, let me know. And we will hopefully see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.